Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome if you're brand new. My name is Gabby Pinkerton. I am a destination wedding planner for adventurous couples, but I'm also a Pinterest marketing strategist. And that's typically how people find me here on YouTube. Um, I started a small YouTube channel, as you can see, there's not a ton of followers, but those of you who have been so kind to join me and watch some of my videos, um, I hope that you've gotten a lot of useful and helpful tips out of these videos. And my plan is to really continue and record as many as I can, as often as I can. So right now I released a video on Mondays and then I'm starting to release a weekend vlog style uh, video on Fridays to inspire you and get you ready for the weekend and just like share more of my personal life and other things that I do. So it can't be all work and no play. Sometimes we have to take time away from our computers and I thought it would be fun to just show you what I do on weekends. I mean, I personally enjoy watching vlog style things, so hopefully you do too from time to time. Today, what we're talking about is we're actually going to talk about story pins again. If you haven't watched my video, I will link it here, um, where I walk you through basically how to create a story pin. Now, that video, we talk about creating a story pin on desktop version, which I really enjoy doing because I like having a bigger screen, but there are elements and features on the desktop that you can't use um, that are available on mobile, or at least at the time that I'm recording this, they weren't available on the desktop version. So I wanna be sure that you guys get all of the features and there's some new things that just popped out, such as tagging, and I have a video all about tagging here, um, as well as uh, specific keywords, all text, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna take you through a brand new tutorial on story pins, and we're gonna do it on mobile this time so you guys know how to use it if you're using the mobile app. Let's go. All right, guys, let's get started. So first thing, you're gonna open your Pinterest app and click on that little plus sign at the bottom of your screen. And here you'll select story pin. Now, if you don't have access to this, send me a message because I can help you get the link to get access to it. Next, you're going to select your photos. I had to save these onto my phone before selecting them. So I won't bore you with my selection and my face popping up every time I open my screen here. So I'm just gonna fast forward through me selecting my photos. So you'll notice here, I open a new card. See that little kind of gray card with a plus sign on it? I create one of those every time I upload a new image as opposed to adding all the same images to one single card, which is an option, but it'll make it show up as a um, slideshow as opposed to four or five individual.
So here I'm also going to try by tagging myself. This is something that I've tried in a couple regular pins and I have yet to try it in a story pin. So I'll let you guys know how that goes, but I'm going to add the photographer tag and then I'm gonna add my company name as well. So as I continue to work on my story pin here, I thought I would share a few tips and tricks about story pins that I recently heard from Pinterest. So one of the things is that they really want us to use story pins as a place um, of, a, of content creation that will inspire users. So whether that be a how-to story pin or something like this in the wedding industry that is really, um, you know, maybe inspires our potential couples and encourages them to pin this for their future wedding. But what Pinterest is also saying is they really want us to have video. So wedding pros, you know, let this be your reminder to maybe record some behind the scenes of at your next wedding and can you turn that into a video? Whether it be, hey, here are a few ways you could do a napkin fold or um, behind the scenes of our photography studio. People really love that. And if you think of it as similarly to Instagram stories, right? Instagram stories isn't as well curated as the posts that we'll maybe put on our feed. Same thing goes with Pinterest stories or story pins. Um, it's a place where we really want to show behind the scenes and kind of inspire people to follow us um, as content creators. Here is to fill out all of the details, such as the title, which we have here. Um, now we need to select the board we're going to put it in, and I'm pretty sure I have a festival style board, and that would be most appropriate. So you want to make sure you pick the most relevant board. And under the details, I always pick freestyle, and here I'm really going to um, kind of caption this so you can tell I'm voice recording or um, I like to voice write if that makes sense it takes me so much less time and so here I'm just kind of voice writing my caption and pretending that it's a bit of a regular pin in the sense that I want to make sure I'm adding appropriate keywords but you can do two spaces and you can then start a new paragraph if you just do one return button, sorry, not space, but a return button, it's gonna form a bullet point. So totally up to you how you want to create it in the details.
Okay, next up we wanna add our tag. So this is anything that you think is relevant to your story pin. So I always start by just typing in the word wedding and seeing what's going to drop down as recommendations and I try to select anything that's relevant. You'll notice at some point here I add the word elopement, but for some reason Pinterest spells it as elopement. And I don't know, we can't change that. It just comes out as elopment. So that is that, I still use it. I, I will try to write to Pinterest and say, hey, there's missing an E, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and then finally, I actually didn't know, but there, I found the tag festival wedding. So I'm adding that at the very end, but definitely just make sure that you are choosing tags that are relevant to the pin that you've just created or the story pin. So. Um, this is a really important part though. It's a big keywording property and one of the things that we were not able to do on the desktop version thousands of views right away. Well, now Pinterest actually has come out to say that it's gonna take about seven days in order to see your analytics be true. So don't panic if your analytics are low at the beginning, it could take some time. Um, definitely do check in with them after seven days and see how they're doing. And if it's still really low, feel free to write to Pinterest and ask like, hey, what did I do wrong? What happened? And they'll give you some tips and tricks. Well friends, I hope that was helpful. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, again, every time I try to make some how-to video or tutorial style video, if you have any requests on Pinterest things you'd like me to show you how to do, please comment below. I am all ears. I will read my comments uh, whenever I can and try to create that content for you guys. So if you liked this video, if it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell because that will tell you when my next video is live. And until then, uh, be sure to read the description. I've got some helpful links, extra tips and tricks, and other places where you can come and ask me questions all about Pinterest. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I will catch you next week. Thank you.